Welcome to Wild Sides, and today we're going to be learning how to use a payphone. So, let's get right to it. So, as we enter this prehistoric, ancient little enclosure here, we have a phone right in front of us. There's the phone. It is very uh, original looking. It's uh, got some character to it, as you can see. And it may look a little bit foreign to some people. But this is the same little icon that is on the smartphone when you click call, so isn't that cool? So, if you look from up there, there's not much room in here. I don't know how Superman ever did his little changey thing in here. I hit my head about three times, and I got very dizzy. And I also got hit in the head by this door, because it closes automatically for some reason. And I actually had to use this at one point, because we're out where there was no cell phone service, so I had to be forced to use a payphone as a young child, and I had no idea what this was. And don't be like me, I had to learn the hard way that if you don't put in money uh, according to the amount of time, it'll cut you off. And I was talking to my mother, making sure she was making sure that I was all right out in the wilderness, and it cut off, and she had no idea what was going on, so that was fun. But we're gonna try and figure out how to use this one. So, what you want to do first is make sure that you have coins because these things take coins. One thing that is difficult for modern day is that most people don't really memorize phone numbers because it's not necessary now that we've got smartphones to memorize them for us. I only very recently learned my own phone number. So, there are phone books in here. I'm not sure how up to date this phone book is, but step one is to memorize the phone number that you are calling. We are going to read the instructions. So step two is to read the instructions, whether you're calling a local number for 75 cents, as you can see, or international for a dollar, and then there's certain area codes that you have to, or codes that you have to enter before the area code, and then the number, and all that stuff. Look, you can call five minutes to Mexico for 50 cents. What I'm going to be calling is my own cell phone. So that's right here. We have got the coin slot up here, so it takes nickels, dimes, and quarters, and I'm going to, I guess, throw in a dollar to be safe. Oh, that was unrelated. All right. And pick it up, maybe? Yes, so it goes this way. This one's for the ear, this one's for the mouth. So. I have to push a 1 before my area code as per the instructions. So the next step is to enter the number according to the instructions. So make sure you read the code so that you don't enter an incorrect number. There's a moth in here. Very interesting looking moth. He's all white. Now who could this be? I'm trying to film. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Who is this? I asked you first. I asked you first. No, quit copying. No, quit copying. <sighs> People these days. Oh my goodness. And there you go, guys. If you ever need to use a payphone, well, good luck. And hopefully you're not claustrophobic. My goodness, this is quite a tight little area. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to use a payphone. My name's Alec, stay wild, and I'll see you next time. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.
hear no sounds coming out. No dial tone. That's a bit concerning. Well, I'm not sure quite what to do now. We've put a dollar in and no sound is coming out of the payphone. Something about, you have no more money and then enough time. And so I, I had no idea what was going on. But, <sighs> no dice. The payphone was recent enough that we can look back in our museums and see what it was. Hmm, maybe it doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Let's answer and see who it is. Hello? Here's a little coin release. I know when I was little, every time I'd see a payphone, I'd try and see if there were coins in there because I was a weird little kid. I'd pick up pennies off the, off the parking lot and like, check all the vending machines and claw machines so there's this handy little thing up here called a coin release and you just flip that and it pops out your coin oh that that was not supposed to happen <laughs> so if you put in your coin nope stop it i'll try a different quarter sometimes they don't like certain coins nope now everything's coming out Alrighty, that's fun all right pop it oh now i dropped the quarter Make sure you wear your cargo pants so you can fit all the coins that you need. So it didn't accept that quarter for some reason. And I dropped that quarter for some reason. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs>